Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 16. So currently we're on beta 8 and this is the last beta that Apple will release to the devs before moving on and releasing the RC version of iOS 16 and then of course the public release which is now very very close to being released to the public. Now this is an amazing update even though it's not perfect, it's quite good and it has some really nice features and changes that Apple has added to this major update but with the last beta that apple released actually something changed that i wasn't expecting and we're going to talk all about that in this video and more regarding ios 16 the latest beta and of course the next releases of ios 16. Now first off let's talk about the last ios 16 beta which is beta 8 that was released this week and this will be the last beta released to the devs of course before moving to the next releases the rc and the public release now this update would will, will come at a very small size around 200 megabytes of course that will be always different on different devices and will be different based on which software you have currently installed on your device but if you're on beta 7 then expect the beta 8 to come at around 200 megabytes now taking a look at the build number right here for iOS 16 beta 8, you can notice that it's this basically the same as beta 7. It's still ending with an A, which indicates that this is the last beta, but we have just two numbers that have changed there, which indicates of course that this is a very, very small update and you cannot expect this to have big new features and changes as the development of iOS 16 has already been finished two weeks ago and we now have to wait for the public release and if you want new features of course we will have to wait for iOS 16.1 which should come on a beta really really soon. Now while we're here we have a small change actually on the settings app here if you go to update your device to the software update you will here notice a change which basically shows you iOS 16 your iOS is up to date previously it used to show just 16 here now it will show iOS as well this is the only change that you will find on beta 8 when you move from beta 7. And now let's talk about something really important. Now with beta 7, I got very great results with Geekbench here on the performance test. Now I wasn't expecting that beta 8 will actually be worse than beta 7. Taking a look here at the history of the tests, you will notice how good beta 7 was. Here's actually beta 6 and we have quite a big improvement here on beta 7. So we moved from here 1588 on the single core score to 1610 while on the multi core score we also had quite a big increase here from 4116 we moved to 4185 but this went down when I updated my device to beta 8 which of course I didn't expect I expected beta 8 to be actually a bit better than beta 7 because of course now the only thing is left to do on iOS 16 is work on performance battery life and such improvements and not new features but you will notice here on beta 8 we have 1588 on the single core score which is actually the exact same as beta 6 then a multi-core score we dropped here more than 100 points so we have 4080 on the multi-core score while we had here 4185 on beta 7. this is something i didn't actually expect to happen with beta 8 as of course apple should be focusing now more on improvements and performance but it actually dropped hopefully it will be better with the rc and the public release and now we're moving on to some things that actually are not bugs but just things that apple hasn't fixed with ios 16 until now on beta 8 and these things have been present right here on iOS 16 since beta 1 and they're pretty annoying. First of all, when you have a lighter wallpaper set up on the home screen of your device, you will notice those shadows behind right there behind the labels and they actually make the home screen, even the wallpaper look really, really ugly. I was really hoping that Apple would fix these and remove these from the home screen on iOS 16. They didn't do it. They're still present right here on iOS 16. 
And next up are lock screen widgets. Even though this is one of the biggest features of iOS 16, they're actually still buggy. If you try to edit these and of course move different ones, remove different ones, especially if you have the bigger ones added to the lock screen, they're actually very buggy. And it's sometimes you can see really hard to actually move them around and they just are not that smooth at all you could see i just try to move that one it would actually just remove completely from the lock screen so it's actually really really annoying trying to readjust the lock screen widgets here which is of course again one of the biggest features and apple should actually have done a way way better job with this feature now when here you can see that if i just edit one of the widgets and i tap done you can see what we get we still get a pop-up here for the wallpapers even though i didn't even touch the wallpaper didn't change anything any settings of the wallpaper you will still get this pop-up and you will have to tap here in order to remove this and there is no way to actually remove this from here another thing right on the lock screen is that you cannot actually have perspective zoom even though you can have any different wallpaper that you want the perspective zoom won't actually work and won't show at all i believe this was removed on beta five maybe or beta six i'm not sure about that but it was here and it was actually a pretty cool feature having perspective zoom with the depth feature of ios 16 on the lock screen was really really cool and made the lock screen much better but apple actually removed that completely i don't know why but you will want you actually won't be able to to have perspective zoom on any wallpaper on the lock screen and last but not least we're talking about releases we're on beta 8 right now and this is the last dev beta of ios 16. next is the rc version now the rc version will be the exact same version as the public one but it will just be released to the devs a week before it gets released to the public now that will be released after the new iphones event which will be on september 7th and of course the event will be probably around one hour and a half or two hours after the event you can expect to see rc version getting released to the depths now the rc version will have a build number that won't end with a letter which indicates that it will of course be the exact same version as the public one now the public release will happen right here on on monday on september 12th this is most likely 95 percent sure that this will be the date that apple releases ios 16. if this won't be the date then it might be the 13th but during these days right here we will get ios 16 as on the 16th the new iphones will ship so of course ios 16 has to be released before the new iphones get shipped to the public so that's about it for this video guys let me know what do you think about ios 16 which is your favorite feature and will you update on day one to ios 16 or not so that's about it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and leave a like on the video as it helps out a lot and i'll see you guys on the next one